If anyone had asked Carol at what precise moment she fell in love, or where Howard Mitchell proposed to her, she would have imagined. You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off You'd be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank Actually The fact that Carol was not in love with Howard Mitchell did not dismay her in the least. From a series of helpful college lectures on marriage, she had learned that a common interest was the true basis for happiness. The illusion of love was a blight imposed by the film industry. Financial security and belonging to the same church, these were the pillars of the married union. Carol and Howard were both vaguely Protestant, although a serious discussion of religious beliefs would have gravely embarrassed them. of any of this. His sudden proposal to Carol had been quite out of character. He was uncommonly cautious, and he altered between a state of numbness and a state of self-congratulation. Before his engagement, he had sometimes been lonely. Unless he stumbled upon a competent housemaid, nothing ever got done. This in itself would not have spurred him into marriage had he not been seriously unsettled by the visit of one of his sisters, who advised him to marry some nice girl before it was too late. Soon, she told him, you'll be the person who fills in at dinner. Howard saw the picture at once and was deeply moved by it. 